432. <clears throat> a few aspects on the Ascension Pass. The Ascension Path. Here it is. Here, here, here it is. And you say God bless. Hmm. Here's how I look at harmony. You can't, if you can't find harmony within, you can't find harmony without. For every action that you bring forth has a consequence. For every choice you make, others make choices. And the path will be set. So, as I observe, if you make choices that have ripple effects, such as static, a lot, a lot of noise will be, meaning a lot of arguing, a lot of discussions will emerge. It's not in silence and it's not in peace. The universe tries its best to rectify your course, whatever the action is. So see yourself as an earth angel. The more you drift away from the actual choice that you have to make to be to meet to meet that uh, timeline, the more the universe will try to correct your path. Which is not easy, but this is the setup. The set is if this is your timeline. Yeah, and this is a selfless. heart centered energy core that will connect you to your destiny. If you drift, and not many are aware of this, <clears throat> and you live on service of self, meaning it's just serving you, and you're not producing or bringing forth anything that can help humanity or, 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 or can further the existence of the human race as it is. And that counts for the collective, meaning each individual being has to get in gear to bring forth what they love. If they do not, it will be evident. So meaning, create. Find ways to create what you love and get something in exchange for that. For as long as the rules require that for your survival and sustainability. If you drift from your path, you won't have it. Financial income, uh, financial freedom, exchange, having things that you need. When people say, um, I can never do my dream job and get up and do my dream job. Well, um, if you don't try to work it parallel, you never know. I worked 20 years in the, uh, the rap industry and... Uh, when I began making music, I couldn't sustain myself, so I had a side job. So I was a computer VCR technician and worked a side job to finance the music that I loved doing. And I said to myself, for as long as I have to finance what I love what I'm doing, I need double the strength to maintain the love for what I'm doing. And it took me years... to sustain myself building photonic devices 
giving advice with uh, interior design and on an energetic aspect, uh, doing uh, seminars that teach how sustainable living can be created or applied as a transitional step, meaning how do you use less voltage and all that stuff, how do you be conscious when you go shopping, how do you apply yourself, your existence in this realm consciously without being wasteful, or going on autopilot or going to sleep. What I want to break down is for as long as you make, when people say there's no right, there's no wrong, that is 50% true. Like Einstein said, everything has a half truth. There can be a wrong choice, meaning there can be a choice that makes you suffer. And you can make that choice over and over again and you suffer over and over again. What, the, what does that mean? That means you're looping. You're running a tape. And when you're running the tape and you begin to identify with that tape, that means the tape runs you. You're no longer in control of your emotional body, meaning that whatever program you had is in control of you. So whatever has that frequency on whatever bandwidth you want to call it, sideways, higher, or lower, upper, or whatever, has access to you. And you'll be completely controlled by that. So, it's hard to get into the field of information today. That's why, forgive me being slow today. I'm trying to really get the noodle and bring it here that... What people don't know, in proportion, as we ascend into the fifth dimension, which is slowly entering the third, and connecting, ascension and descension has an entirely new aspect, meaning the universe will now try much, much harder to rectify you if you're not on your path. So here's the situation. Imagine you are in the fifth dimension and you still haven't learned your lesson and you want to go about making a crappy choice, meaning a choice that is of service of self, just serving you and your image that you have created in your mind and you're seeking a match. That static will be tenfold up to a hundredfold, meaning you will suffer even more. Meaning if you want to play descension game in the fifth dimension and you think that you can get away with it, it will be very painful because you are doing it to yourself. That's why in ancient times the monks said, well, I can't deal with the world. I don't want to see up or down. I just want to be in me. Deprive my sensory, which is you deprive yourself from participating in life. And you're in this monastery and you meditate and you pray and hope that you can ascend. The challenge is to meditate life, to be in life, not to blame nobody but yourself for what situation you choose to be in. That is where you create reality. And if you're in places such as where we are in, where the energy is very high, call it the sacred places. There are places in Arizona, there are places in Ireland, places uh, in Germany, places in Finland, places in Scotland, all over the planet. People gather, or I call it the angelic groups, and come together in these high energetic spots. Now we have to master 3D. But if you do not live by the rules that you project outward and you bring it into your inner circles or your inner ciphers, it'll tear you up. And every time you have not learned your lesson, it'll tear you up even more. And people will reflect on that and bring that back to you. There's no escape route. There's nothing on earth that you can do to run away from yourself. You have to face yourself onward, 
no way around, no escape, no exit route. There's only the way of experience through this quagmire of electrostatic, geopathic, and geomagnetic zones that bombard us every day. And I send out my, I call it computer program system arrangement, where I remind myself sending a message to the universal construct to remind me when I'm off my path let me know let me feel and if it hurts I stand corrected and for a long time I have to stand corrected story of this lifetime in this vessel maybe hundreds or thousands of lifetimes have been here coming back in these critical pivotal times as energy is being pushed and more love is coming down, you'll have headaches. Very much frontal lobe activity, third eye pressure, because the, the downloads have tripled. So, mind you, be aware of the choices that you make, because your choice cannot be undone. You can only make a choice to go back to the highway. We just um, the other day we had a conversation about what is the frequency of the fifth dimension, and the conclusion is that it's not actually a frequency; it is a bandwidth. The frequency we are trying to create, or we creating, is that um, the yellow brick road, the rainbow bridge in the movie Thor, the bridge that the gods use to travel to other planets, which is basically you and me is that is the frequency in sequence having all seven tonal structures of your macabre construct metatronically aligned which is a passageway to from this highway to the fifth highway call it five and once you know how to attain that and hold the frequency you can make the shift up there you can still see others that are not on that frequential path that are still stuck and they're still suffering. You can't help. They can only be inspired by you. And what is to be done and how you feel will be evident in the future. If someone rises in their frequency, their field is a 12 shield, 12 dimensional avatar shield. So if somebody is in the light projecting the right knowledge for Earth, for Earth purposefully being here, and somebody wants to project negative energy or control against that person, it'll bounce off tenfold and will be reflected back to the sender. And it'll hit you, you get sick, you'll be in your bed, you'll pay the price. And it's not because I'm saying it, it's because you made that choice. So as we rise and ascend to that level of consciousness, be aware every choice point defines and anchors you and binds you to a timeline given. And when you're close to your aim, meaning the ascension, meaning to be in your love and to be in your purpose, that will create a narrow margin that's happening right now for mess-ups. Meaning there's less of a chance for you to mess up karmically and not realize that you messed up because messing up is painful and pain is showing you this is not your path this no longer serves you so why linger on the pain get off the pain get up activate whatever you want to create and even if you have a regular job to sustain yourself whatever you want to create if you do it now it'll take place now if you do it later it takes place later realize to be here and to be in the now and make a decision in the now to create now because everything else is stopping you from reaching the apex of your destiny and everybody anybody on the planet I don't care can do it we have so much stuff on the net that is for free you can illustrate yourself people teach for free how to create what 
is necessary and the future timeline for all businesses on this Nexus Craft world is be authentic, be in your truth, don't lie to yourself and bring something out in exchange that will help the next one so the entire world can chip in so we can rise up so get this little balloon, this green thingy here going up and we will be like the antibodies getting for once the immune system of Gaia jump started and activated and whoever acts in a parasitic way and I don't care what business or institution you're in you have no chance of existing in that plateau and once you become conscious you will only want to ascend like people will say if the devil realizes heaven he would want to go back home that's all it is no more tricks no more lies have your spam filters up like online and as you open yourself to the new energies that come in be aware of who you trust I don't care who comes from below earth or who comes from the upper dimension or what dimensional beings talk to you and what they say the thing is you are the person you are the pair Sony the sound the individual creative unique being that has the power to manifest and make things such as my friend Chris Taylor created this 432 Hertz um, fork tuning fork and as long as I, as I do not see objects appearing out of thin air without a construct the magic will not take place we are the magic you are the magic you are biotech in the flesh the highest development that you can ever imagine the entire evolutionary process going through you as you are fetus growing up ready to be born nine physical stages to be born mentally nine physical stages to be born physically in all dimensions nine 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 is the number and I can drift into many topics from here but I know you got the message and the drift to do is now because tomorrow is not promised and the choices are with you you look in the mirror what do you see and see yourself for who you are with everything that makes you everything that emanates everything that you feel and listen to how you feel and even in depression listen to how that feels analyze the situation get into it step in step into your power and you'll be on your path because the interesting thing is if you are on your path the other side can't even touch you you'll be like not even visible to them whatever mishaps are lurking and waiting for you to break the law or break their rules to be on their side so they can whatever get a little piece of your freedom you are the creator of your own peace of mind and you know how to do it I'm doing it many of my other angelical colleagues do it take reference we were laughed at in the past some people might still laugh but we will keep it current consistent and stabilized so you see that there's more than hope there's action and action means participating in how the universal construct works with you remember they said it's one step to God and he comes two step two steps closer that's actually the universal construct or the unimind if you form an intent and you convinced that you can go that route the universe will align itself around you to accommodate and even cater to you so you be on your path and that's the gift and the gift is not the riches the gift is the knowledge acquired in truth according to your spiritual maturity and living your dream not dreaming your life when you awake that's when you dream when you dream that's when you awake dwell on that and I catch you on the next ascension path until video. Namaste.